Hey everyone. Count these steps. Around. Sunday morning. And we are going to go on our walk here real quick. I figured I'd take you guys with us. So you can see exactly what this little <laughs> 15 minute excursion quick little walk is that we take in the morning. It's basically we just stepped out of our front door right there. And we're just going to walk down to the end of the street. We live on 18th Street in Canton, and we're just going to walk. Cleveland Avenue is behind us there, but we're going to walk down here to Fulton. And we're just basically walking. Now, I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit, just so I'm not casually strolling. And we're just going to walk. <laughs> And we'll talk as we walk. So, we take this walk in the morning. It takes exactly 15 minutes. I've got my watch on here. It'll track our steps. And according to my watch, it's roughly 2,000 miles. <laughs> 2,000 miles. 2,000 miles? That's a 2,000 steps. And that's roughly one mile. Sometimes, like I said before, it'll... Give me a little more than 2,000 steps. Car. And again, car, game off. And then sometimes it'll give me a little more than 2,000, but game on. Game on. <laughs> ah, shoot. For those of you who don't know, Wayne's world. Oh, people know. Come on. You're living under a rock if you don't know what. Anyways, <clears throat> now Sean's watch. We usually say it's about like 1,690 something, 1,700. 17, 15, 1,800. But I take lots of little tiny steps because, you know, I was not blessed in the leg department. And he's 6'1 and has way longer legs than I do. So that's just my analogy that I take littler steps. So maybe it gives me credit for a little more steps than him, but I digress. Regardless, it's about a mile. I'm going to say it's a mile, 2,000 steps, one mile. First thing in the morning, boom. Got a little cardio in, fresh air. Feels amazing. Some mornings, we walk in complete silence. Nobody got nothing to say at 5 a.m. Not that anybody wants to hear you say anything at 5 a.m. And us, we've been together 11 years, so I've heard every story you got to say. I've we heard just all yours. right, and he's heard all my. And trust me, I don't know when to shut up. Sometimes I'll look over at this man, and he's like, "You're doing this, and I need you to do this." Politely, shut the up because I do ramble clearly but some mornings we do chit chat and talk and whatever it may be about and I'll tell you what he just said that the other morning that we talked coming back up this hill we're about to go down this hill I was telling you about makes you run makes you put a little pep in your step <laughs> but we were walking and talking and we were so invested in this conversation that we walked up this hill and didn't even like blink an eye. Like normally we'd be like, well me, he don't really like, he don't need to lose a hundred pounds. So it may get him and he feels it, but he ain't like sweating and huffing and puffing like me, but we're about to go down this hill. But when we were so deep in this conversation the other morning, we didn't even realize we'd walked up the hill and it felt like a five minute walk as compared to a 15. And we started talking, it was like three minutes. Like big right. Boom, we were all of a sudden we were done talking and we were at the house. Here's this hill. We were so, <laughs> we were so into this conversation that we just, time flew. Time flies when you're having fun. And I tell you, you know, we've only been together 11 years, not like 20 or 30 or nothing, but. And sometimes, yes, the conversations get old. And sometimes, yes, you get tired of hearing that person 
talk constantly. Like, just shut up. Like, I, you know, but there are still conversations that we have that are new conversations that are, you know, especially now, like, hey, man, I'm going through this right now. How are you feeling? You feel all right? Let's, you know, especially when we started this keto thing, it's like, any change in what you put in your body every day is going to, like, change how you, feel. how you feel, how you poop. Like, with me, I mean, not too, too, too much TMI, but I've always had digestive problems and, you know, constipation and that kind of stuff. And my dad deals with that stuff, too, so... I've always had those issues so when you change you know your sad american diet to some healthy stuff your intestines and digestive system and all that good stuff in your stomach is like whoa i'm used to processing cane's chicken and fries and dr pepper and sweet tea and cheeseburgers and french fries and all that good stuff and now you're pumping in broccoli and zucchini and I'll, eh, olives and you know lettuce and all this good roughage and things change so you know yeah it is that is brisk crazy wow you know and he's type 2 diabetic so i'm like you don't want to drastically change someone's diet that like may make his sugars like plummet because we're cutting out sugar and even though he's diabetic and shouldn't eat it we he's been eating sugar just like me how you feeling by the way now that you cut that bagel out every day Fantastic. you eat the eggs and stuff right first thing in the morning every day two eggs in the morning now and bacon and then i do the hard-boiled eggs with avocados for lunch or whatever's left over okay so. But that's, it's been eggs and bacon every day since we started doing this. I haven't stopped. Yeah, I tell you, man, I know bagels are like a breakfast staple. Well, Dave's hard bagels were I mean, they were the Dave's stuff. killer. When we did this whole food plant-based, let me tell you what. Not to keep dropping names, but I'll tell you what. If I try something and it's good and I like it and it's... I'll tell you about it. I don't care. I ain't looking to make no money or cash in. But, well, not Dave's killer. Anyways... We found these Dave's Killer bagels and bread that was like sprout bread and was good for you. And on the whole food plant base, you could eat grains and oatmeal and good stuff. Good organic. grains. Yeah, organic. So, anyways, he was hooked on these bagels. Even after we stopped doing the whole food plant base, he would eat one of these bagels every morning. He did like the cinnamon raisin ones. They had a booming berry, blooming berry that was like a blueberry bagel. Anyways, he would eat these every morning. They're not, you know, they're fairly good, but they do still have carbs. They had what? 51, carb, 51 grams sugars. of carbs, 17 grams of sugars. Per bagel. I'm like, hey, man, I get it. Sometimes that are things that are healthy, that say they're healthy on the package. They are for some people, but for someone that is type 2 diabetic and don't need cook sugars and carbs, that bagel is not healthy. And as I was going to say, I know staples are, or staples, <laughs> yeah, bagels are like a staple in the breakfast, like, <coughs> breakfast food area, but I'm telling you, putting those carbs and that sugar in your body first thing in the morning, think about it like this, you go to bed, think about your car like a body, this dog, oh my god, your car is, your body's like a car. You ran all night. You drove a cross-country trip. You are running on E. You park that bitch, your body. You park it. Hi, honey. You gotta see this dog. He's beautiful. Hi, buddy. Look at him. Oh, my God. All right, so your body's empty, man. You drove all night. You're driving on empty, so you're gonna park it. You're going to rest for about seven to eight hours. However many hours you can rest. All right, we're hitting up this hill, man. You're on empty. You park it, you rest just like a car all night. 
in the morning you got to go fuel that car up because you're on empty man you ain't gonna get far you don't go fuel up that car so I don't know about you but when you fill put gas in your car you won't put the crappy dirty cheap gas that's settled at the bottom of the barrel no you won't put the good gas so I'm telling you what when you fuel your body and I'm just learning this people I am NOT a doctor I don't even play one on TV I am NOT a nutritionist I am NOT a fitness coach I am NOT a motivational speaker and I am no way shape or form in good health I am getting there and I'm working on it but I'm not but what I've learned is if you fuel your body especially first thing in the morning when you're breaking your fast and everybody fasts people we all go to sleep at night we rest our bodies we don't put any food or water or anything in it for a significant amount of time Whew, that hill so therefore you're fasting whether you sleep for four hours six hours eight hours or ten you are depriving your body of food and water for that amount of time even if you get up in the middle of the night take a sip of water you're still fasting you're not putting any fat calories protein sugar you're not putting anything in your body so we all fast some are just for longer periods of time hence the word breakfast break fast you are breaking your fast eliminate the carbs and sugars when you break that fast people I'm telling you what even if you're not on a diet get rid of that bagel get rid of that avocado toast well get rid of the toast eat the avocado man but try it try it I'm serious try it in the morning or whenever you wake up whenever you break your fast or have your breakfast fuel your body with some healthy fats some nice protein and not only will you feel full because I'm telling you what you eat that bagel you eat that bread you eat that sugary donut and within an hour or two you're gonna be looking in your desk for a snack because you're hungry because sugar and carbs burn hot and fast just like fuel jet fuel fuel and racing fuel that shit burns a lot hot, hotter than your unleaded fuel you put in your car so that's just a little tip that I've learned Came off. not only I oh, turn not only for taking uh or for losing weight but just for feeling better man for having a good clean source of energy to fuel your body in the morning instead of that sugar if you're heavy and overweight and need to lose weight you will see the lay the weight fall off i'm telling you just by changing what you fuel your body with if you don't need to lose weight you're thin you're healthy or not thin but you you don't need to lose weight you feel good but you are feeling a little like uh, after I eat that bagel or bread or toast or sugary cereal or donuts or whatever it is that has carbs and sugar if it's making you feel sluggish after you've ate you don't have enough energy to make it till lunchtime replace that stuff man I'm telling you it will have an effect on you you'll you might whew, you might have some withdrawals from the sugar for a little while a week two weeks but I'm telling you what man you will feel it you will enjoy it you will thank me if you don't thank me you will thank yourself I'm telling you right now because it works it really does it does I've lost 25 pounds right it works man we are proof in the pudding i am the pudding in the 
I have lost 58 pounds so far. I may have lost another two. I might be at 60 pounds in less than four and a half months. He's lost 25 pounds. Weighed myself last night 206.6. Hey. So that's our walk, man. It took us, what's it say on here? 15 minutes and 20 seconds. 15 minutes. Less than a half of a half, less than a half of an hour. Well, exactly half of an hour. Come on, people. 15 minutes to get up and just go walk real quick. Free your mind. Come on. Walk, enjoy, go out right now, get some fresh air. Walk around the block. If you don't wanna go outside, walk down to your basement and back. Walk the perimeter of your house. Just walk around. Move your body. Enjoy. When you're in the shower, walk in place. Come on, if you wanna run, run. Run, Boris, run. do whatever. Enjoy the day. Get some fresh air. Take a walk. You'll thank me. See you next time, guys. Enjoy.